good morning hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos in case you're new here welcome my name is Dee Mwango from Kenya that is Mama Africa and welcome to Jamaica the land that we all love so in case you're new here please be sure to subscribe hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you think about today's video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much you literally mean the whole world to me so welcome to my morning routine video here in the countryside we are in Jamaica to be specific we are in Mandeville Mandeville is one of the most beautiful places that you all should visit and actually this place is so different from Kingston all right so it's also one of the most beautiful countryside areas you can come across here in Jamaica and I thought because I'm around why not and special shout out to Jamaican hills and valleys for the invite so please go subscribe to his channel and uh, tell him thank you so much for inviting D to the countryside so welcome to the countryside guys here in Jamaica and this is a clear indication we are in Jamaica. Guys, do you know what this is? Let me know in the comment box down below. Mm, <laughs> the best, the best hub ever. So this is how our backyard looks like. This is to show you how beautiful the countryside is. It's so green and uh, we have some bananas growing here, but they're still not ready. We have... Um, this is a type of orange. I don't know how they call it in Jamaica. All right. In Kenya, we call this chenza. This type of uh, this type of oranges. Wow. And because I just woke up, it's good to start your day with fruits. This is easy to get the the peels. So easy. Okay. As you all see, and it's ripe. Welcome to the beautiful countryside. Oh my gosh. Jamaica is really really beautiful. The countryside here in Jamaica is just something else, you know. It's so rich. Oh, oh. It just fell down, but I can still get more. So morning breakfast. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. So good. Wow, and there are plenty of them. Hmm? Imagine fresh, direct from the tree. Hmm? I can't even finish, there are so many. Uh, maybe I want to get one more. Look at that. Hmm? Direct from the tree. I love it. So guys, welcome to the countryside here in Jamaica and actually the countryside here in Jamaica more so in Mandeville. Like people are so advanced here in Jamaica. Like if you are expecting to see mud houses and all those things, it's close to impossible, all right? People are really developed. Jamaica is not a poor country. It's an extremely beautiful country. And actually in the countryside, people have more money because, oh, I think this is for breakfast too. <laughs> In the countryside people have money actually because they can do farming like it's such a productive area to live so i feel so good the fact that i'm in jamaica and it's such a beautiful environment and it's not too hot here. i mean like it's not hot it's cool this part of jamaica just surprised me i didn't expect to find this here oh as i'm eating my breakfast i want to show you around the yard and show you some of the fruits that we have so we have this type of um this type of oranges, I don't know how you call them, let me know in English. And also, here we have the bananas, I already showed you. And on this other side, this is uh, an avocado tree. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's an avocado tree, but it's not yet the season. So that's why uh, you can see the fruits on it yet. Alright, then... Here we have the, the chicken room because we also keep hens here, as you all see. So I have to come and clean also. So this is where we keep our hens. And here there's no theft actually. This part of the this part of Jamaica is one of the safest places you can ever imagine of. Alright. So apart from that, we also have this. I don't know if you guys know this. It's actually 
Oh, it smells so good. So mm. actually, back home in Kenya, when my mom makes tea, that is a, a milk breakfast. I mean, like, when you add milk to water and add tea leaves, my mom also puts this in it for the good smell. I don't know how they call it here in Jamaica. Let me know in the comment box down below. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay. And also we have yams growing here. These are all yams. Eh? This is such a productive area. Okay, so that's how our backyard looks like. It's such a big backyard. Up to that area, it's still part of the yard. And it's so green, as you all see. The view is so beautiful. Maybe if I go to the rooftop, I'll show you guys how it looks like. So welcome to the countryside. So... As you all know guys, it's early morning, so as a woman, when you wake up, the first thing is uh, cleaning. So I want to start by cleaning, and I want to take you along. I want to also make breakfast, so stick around till the end of the video. Oh, I forgot to show you something, guys. Um, we also have this. This is actually pumpkin leaves, you know? Pumpkin leaves, they are very nutritious, actually. You can eat them as vegetable. And also the pumpkin themselves, although they are not yet ready. But uh, we literally have everything that you need here in the countryside. So let's start by washing the dishes. So apparently it's drizzling, but that doesn't mean life has to stop. So now we have to wash the dishes. Alright, it's time for me to start cleaning the house. So yesterday we had a party here. So these are just some of the icing of the cake. I have to do away with. So guys, welcome to the countryside. You can see where I'm washing dishes from typical countryside basin. And I love it because in Kenya, my home is actually in the countryside. So this makes me feel like I'm home. There's nothing new. So in Jamaica, we have tap water running in the countryside, which is a good thing. But they still have the rivers. So now I just want to wash my dishes. my soap <laughs> and my rag I don't know what it is. Let me bring yeah, yeah.
Alright guys, I don't know which part of the world you're watching from, but let me know. Do you do like uh, duty sharing in your communities? Because where I come from, duties are shared depending on gender. Like being a woman, when you wake up, the kitchen belongs to the woman. Like you have to make sure the house is clean, you wash the dishes, you know. And the men go to the farm, you know, to cultivate the land, take care of animals and all that. But in some rare occasions, when you don't have like um, the female in your family, the men also in the family can still do all the duties, you know. And still, even being a woman, you still train to do field work, to take care of animals, like it's part and parcel of the process of growing up. And uh, in the countryside, you can never be a lazy person. You have to work, 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 work. As the Bible says, if you don't eat, if you don't work, you don't eat. So, personally, despite the fact that uh, I'm well traveled, still I hold on to the cultures, you know, and what my parents taught me as a woman. Most of my mom, she always tells me, as a woman, you must know how to cook, you must know how to clean. You must know how to, you know, to take care of the home. So what about your community? Let me know in the comment box down below. We're talking about the countryside life, all right? Let me know in the comment box down below what you think about today's vlog. This is a complete white material. If you're watching and you can buy me a Lamborghini, don't hesitate. <laughs> because you're gonna get a full package. Huh? A whole white material. Alright. So guys, in my pot here, you can come closer so that they can see it. I have some remains of food. And uh, as I told you, in the countryside, there's so much food and no people to eat. Okay. So that's spoiled food. Let me know what to do with your spoiled food back in your home. Maybe I'm going to give it to the chicken so that they can eat. So you don't just throw it away completely. You can still give it to the chicken as food and this is the leaf that i was asking you to tell me what it means it's called bush what fever grass fever grass oh, okay. So I took out the fever grass. Then this will be food for the chicken. They're gonna enjoy. So I can just put it here. Hey. The 
person who cooks doesn't really know how to cook. They need classes from me. <laughs> because the rice got really burned. So now this is food for the chicken. Instead of just throwing it away. So before pouring water, actually you have to make sure there are no spoons, so you have to pass your hands in it to make sure you don't throw spoons in the bush. Right, time to rinse. guys this is actually so new like honestly like this is what they used to scrub the pots to do away with the black bands in the pots because where i come from we have what we call the scoring pad or, or rather the steel wool but this is new i've never seen this but i think this is more healthier than the scoring pads that i'm trying to say or steel wool mm -hmm. because if the person who is washing dishes is not so careful like the small pieces of metal can remain in dishes and you know when you cook 
and you eat it it can actually rust in your belly in the intestines and actually it can cause diseases like cancer so i think this is really good i think this is a sandpaper if i'm not wrong mm -hmm. you know this is a sandpaper so maybe when i go back home congrats mom please make sure the house girl uses such a thing because this is less dangerous than the other thing but normally in the countryside you use ash uh, uh smooth sand and just you know maybe even grass as the scoring part and it cleans so well but yeah this is new that i'm learning here in jamaica but still it works so let me know what do you prefer but still for me i prefer ash and uh sand but this is new to me but still it cleans the same way that is it Right, guys welcome to our kitchen and we want to make breakfast so this is breadfruit it's a typical Jamaican food I've never ever seen it anywhere and we also have plantain right here a piece of plantain so this is what you're going to have for breakfast and also we have the pear that's how they call it in Jamaica or rather avocado and bread yay there we go okay guys welcome to the kitchen there we go so this is my cooking oil and uh, i wanna fry the plantain so i'm gonna make the plantain for breakfast now i'm getting to learn how to prepare all jamaican dishes there we go you peel it first like that then you slice it the way you want so this is my favorite way of slicing it like that so you can slice it in different shapes depending on what you want this is my favorite okay there we go so now i just want to add it I think it's hot already. So guys, here we go with the plantain. Okay, guys, we put the plantain. <laughs> I'm so much scared to be burned by cooking oil. I'd rather be careful. I still not get hurt. You are truly the the chef. Okay, what's 
once it turns brown on both sides, it means it's ready. I'm gonna get these ones because they are ready. See? If you're from Mandeville and you wanna give me more plantain, please let me know in the comment box. Alright? If you're a farmer and you have plantains and you wanna give me, let me know because I love plantain so much. Okay, that's the end. So guys, I'm not actually making the breadfruit because it's really tough. It has been in the fridge for so long as you all see. So it's tough. So I'm like, it's not going to work. All right. So this is what we have for breakfast. And uh, also, I have the avocado with me. Actually, this is the best avocado I've ever eaten. So I'm told they have two types, the watery and the dry avocado here in Jamaica. So I think this is the best avocado I've ever, ever eaten. Like, it's so nice. I love it. So I'm just going to peel it off. guys as you all see i have my plantain i have my avocado perfect breakfast and i have some bread so two pieces are just more than enough for me and also i have some juice this is organic juice i just bought it uh a healthy breakfast wow so good Cheers, guys. Okay, so I have to enjoy my breakfast now. All right, guys, this is how I make my bread, a sandwich, plantain, and avocado pieces. I can add one more piece on the side like that. Then I just do it this way. Then, there we go. Mmm. It is so good. So guys, so guys, finally it's time for me to take a shower. So in the countryside, as you all know, we shower with buckets. So I'm just waiting for my bucket to be full of water, then we can go take a shower outside. So today we're, we're going to have an outdoor shower plus a shave. So it's always proper for all girls to shave the armpits, not to walk with uh, <laughs> black hands under the armpits. If you know, you know. But actually green waxing is the best. But when you're traveling and actually in the countryside, you rather know how to do it well because we don't really have people who do that for you. So I'm going to use this just for my armpits, okay, and clear the small hairs, all right, okay, it has to be cool,
we go. All right, guys, I have my body scrub here. I have my soap. Okay. So let's go shower. Out the river shower. First things first, you take off your clothes. All right, this is my hanger for today. And we get started. Come close a little bit. So as always guys, I always start by washing my head first. So I use this for this. Please be at a good position, maybe we'll get a thumbnail. Bend down, please. You're recording Okay, guys, shaving time. Come close. Okay, distance a little bit. That is it. They're not even long of anything.
That's it. That's it. The shower. It's raining. <laughs> this is the best part of the shower. Woo. So guys, because I was taking a shower and it's raining, this just reminds me of my childhood moment. We used to do this. <laughs> Let me know if you used to do this as well. But I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay guys, that marks the end. That marks the end of my morning routine. Showering outside. <laughs> Woo! I feel so good. This reminds me so much of my old good days. When I was a small girl. Alright, please guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my morning routine video up to 400k. And I'm gonna see you on my next one.